Statistics and parameters are used often in research when referring to a sample or a population. What do we mean by the terms parameter and statistics and why is this so important? In this video, I'm going to clearly explain their meanings. So you will often hear statisticians use the term population parameter and they do this when referring to any measurable characteristic of a population like uh, the population mean or the population standard deviation. I'm sure you have also heard the term sample statistics and this is being used when the measured characteristic is for the sample. For example, the sample mean and the sample variance. In analyzing data for any research, it is very essential to first identify whether the data you're dealing with is from a sample or from a population. It is only when you can identify this that you can be sure that from your analysis, whether you have a parameter or a statistic. This is only when you'll be in the right position to properly interpret your findings. Now, to buttress how important it is to differentiate between population parameters and sample statistics, in statistical science, you will see that these two are denoted using different types of symbols. Parameters are usually denoted using Greek letters, for example, sigma, or capital letters, um, for example, capital letter P. While statistics are usually Roman letters, for example, S, and in most cases, when you come across a lowercase letter, for example, lowercase p, then you're most definitely sure that it is a statistic. So the most common statistic or parameter for categorical variables is a proportion. It is usually denoted as p hat for sample statistics and a capital P for population parameter. For numeric variables, the mean is the most reported statistic or parameter and it is denoted as x bar for sample statistics and the Greek letter mu for population parameter and so on. Now let's look at two examples of results obtained by a research and let's see how important it is to be able to differentiate these two. So the proportion of medical doctors that have been fully vaccinated against COVID-19 among 130 randomly selected participants in an online webinar for doctors was 0.45. What do you think the proportion of 0.45 is? A parameter or a statistic? Well, this is a statistic because we can clearly see that the data used was obtained from a sample and so this will be denoted by p hat. Here we can say p hat equals 0.45 and anybody seeing this know we're referring to a statistic. Now let's try another example. The proportion of health workers that have taken the IPC training course among all healthcare workers in ABUTH was 0.87. Is this proportion a statistic or a parameter? Well. You're correct. This is a parameter and this is simply because the data was obtained from the whole population of health workers and so we'll denote it using capital letter P. So we can say capital P equals 0.87 and anybody seeing this knows clearly that this is a parameter. Now you see how important it is to differentiate these two, right? Awesome. So to recap, statistics and parameters are numbers that summarize any measurable characteristic of a sample or a population. Parameters and statistics are differentiated using different notations. And in data analysis for research, it is important to know whether the measure that you are dealing with is either a parameter or a statistic so that you can correctly interpret your findings. Well, now it's your turn. The mean hemoglobin level of a sample of 20 children in a pediatric hematology clinic was 13.2 grams per deciliter. So the mean in this example, is it a statistic or a parameter? Please use the appropriate symbol to represent it and put your responses in the comment section below. And do not ignore this please. In my next video, God willing, we will go into more profound details concerning parameters. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like and leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when my next video is released. Thanks for watching.